Hello and welcome to EC QuickBooks Training. Today we're going to answer the question, QuickBooks, what are sales order? So let's get started. Now, sales orders are non-posting forms, meaning if you do not build the sales order, whatever you have entered in your sales order will not show on the income statement because it's not a revenue yet. It's for future uh, sales. For sales orders, we can view several reports. If we go to reports, sales, sales orders, we can see open sales orders. This will show us the sales orders that are open for that particular customer. We can also see sales orders by item. Here are the sales order and what is what has been invoiced and any back ordered um, items. So let's go ahead and do some billing for the sales order and then we're going to go back to open sales order by item. Now this can be used for either services or for products. I have a sales order here that I'm using as a service. As you can see, uh, I have floor framing. We can say that we have two hours at a rate for 20. We can also change the names that are, appear on the columns under customization. So we're going to go ahead and bill this um, sales order. We're going to click create invoice. And as you can see, it says uh, create invoice for all sales order, all of the sales order, or create um, invoice for selected items. I'm going to click selected items. Click OK. And I'm going to only bill one hour for this item and two hours for this item and we're going to hit OK. And this is the invoice. Let's go ahead and preview. Let's see. You could see we're billing, invoiced, what was ordered, what was invoiced. OK, let's go back to the report after we save this invoice. Let's go to reports, sales, open, open sales order by item. As you can see on these items, we now see that we built two and we built one and there's only one pending for each item. Okay, another thing that we could do with sales order is we can bill for multiple sales order. Let's say we got an order from a customer and we did a sales order for a future service and then he called again um, and then we did another sales order. We can bill both sales order on one invoice. If we go to invoices and we continue, we'll have available sales orders for this customer. We can select both sales order and we click OK and we can say create invoice for all sales orders let's hit OK. As you can see, we have now sales orders number three and sale order number four. This tells us what item and what sales order these items are in. And we can have have it build. We can also change we can also change the quantity of what we want to bill. If we can select the number and then change it from here and it will change it and let's go ahead and save this save and close okay now let's go back to our reports sales open sales order by customer as we can see we only have one sales order the one that i only built for now let's say that they don't want that one hour that they ordered they ordered five hours or they ordered a product, but we only built four and we don't want it to show up on the reports. What can we do? Well, we can open that sales order and we can check where it says closed so we can close that sales order and it will no longer appear on the reports. Let's hit save and close. Let's go back to reports. Let's go to sales open sales order by customer. As you can see, we can no longer see that sales order 
that they only ordered partially because they didn't want the rest it was canceled okay and that is all that i have to show you for sales order please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also visit our website at ecquickbookstraining.com for more free tutorials i'll see you in the next one